this is our headlock ram. You see it's got your release handle at the top. Um, same process, different setup. I use a bolt welded on the side of my um, table here, so I basically have that set up there. So what I do is I turn this over. Turn it upside down. Pull my chrome rod right out. Fill my jug to 375 mil. That's 375 mil for this ram in total. Tip in to the seal again. So you'll just check those seals in the bottom of your housing there before you start pouring oil in. If they're in good condition, go ahead and put your oil in and then just fill to those seals. With this one, we put our chrome rod right in, but we turn our handle down like it is inside. So that's to release the pressure, that that's handle to release has to be the pressure. up. Put it back up. Because I've got a bolt welded on here, I can just turn this straight over like that and sit in there. Then I undo the top handle by, by taking out uh, the nut and bolt through the handle. That's removing our handle and our nut and bolt. Now we take out our actuator rod, because our rod sits underneath that. Checking our seal again. Yep, you'll just check your seal in the top housing there. Put our funnel in and put our 100 mils of oil back in the top. So it was 375 mil in total for the ram. You'll fill to the seals in the bottom chamber. When you turn it over, you'll end up putting 100 mil in the top of your ram. Push our actuator rod back in, push our handle on top to push it down so we can relocate our bolt back in our handle and our housing, as in such. Do it up but not tight, do it up firm but not tight so our handle still moves up and down. Then in my case I can do the same again on the ground, so like this, I did before. This is the bleeding process that's very important to get any airlocks out before putting your headlock or the calf cradle ram back on. Up, lift the handle, go back down. Up, lift the handle, go back down. Up, lift the handle, go back down. And that is ready to rock and roll, ready to go. Holding there, and it's good to go.